Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Christmas is the bestest. And we used to get our tinsel in a tangle. Yes. And then one year my husband said, no more, we're going to Florida. Mm -hmm. And we went to Florida, and since, and you were how old? Five. And since then, Christmas has just been wonderful. We play, we don't worry about presents, we don't worry about anything. Nope. And we just have a good time. It's a time of family and friends and joy and hope and everything. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Not about the things. And people say, oh, there's so much to do. Well, maybe you go to one less party. But you don't have to. <laughs> I think there's enough time for all the parties, all the stuff. You just got to lay back and go, I'm having the best time of my life. And if you say that, you will be. You will. What do you think besides when you were little? What do you think was the funnest, bestest stuff you ever did at Christmas? Ooh, that's a good question. I think I would have to say it was my time living in Port St. Lucie. I had a good bunch of friends, a lot of couples, four or five couples, and we all spent a lot of time doing things together. And one of the, one of the couples had a, a golf cart, and we decorated it, and we all were deciding we were going to go caroling, and then we all decided <laughs> none of us can sing, so somebody said, I know, let's play kazoos. And we all just thought that that was the greatest idea, so we all bought a bunch of kazoos. We got all dressed up in our Christmas clothes. And, and your Santa hats, And our I Santa remember. hats and our jingle bells around our necks. And um, we all had our kazoos in red and green. And then one of the couples, the, the man, made a big sign on cardboard. We brought it over as a surprise, and it said, The River Vista Marching Kazoo Band. <laughs> and we went around door to door on the golf cart. And we, we kazooed our, our, our carols, and everybody just thought we were the funniest people ever. And you were. You brought joy to fun. that whole yes. little subdivision. Yes, and it was just a lot of fun. Did you drink while you did this? Well, we might have had a little champagne. Toddy. Well, it's the time of the year to have a little hot toddy or yeah. a little egg and nog. Well, it's a little warm in Florida for the, your hot toddies. So, That's true. So we had a little cooling champagne. We had to ease our throats from the... Uh, the kazooing. The kazooing, yes. That's very... And why did you wear bells around your neck? Tell them that. She is just a stickler <laughs> about the friggin' bells around her neck. I don't even know where... I started, started it years and years ago, but everybody didn't like the idea, but you have kept it going. Oh, yeah. I still wear it to this year. One year she bought satin uh, rope with the big gold jingle bell on it and she bought one for everybody and everybody had to wear it and, and I we jingled just, and we jingled and you know of course the men hated it mostly and uh we just I thought it was the best idea ever so I would I wear mine every year and she comes with brand new bells and I every with, Christmas and I make everybody wear them she does she so does. I got bells for the whole crew so we could wear them, and then you go around and you go, jingle bells, and, you know, make a nuisance of yourself, which I'm really good at. <laughs> I think Grandpa grandpa had sleigh bells. Oh, the bells. You have the bells at yeah. your house. No, they're, I yeah. think they're here. Oh, really? Yeah. I know, I think they're at your house. Oh. Look in your Christmas decorations, old Scrooge, that you are. <laughs> I'll have to look. And Grampy had his old sleigh bells off the sleigh when he was a boy, mm -hmm. and you knew it was Christmas. He'd put them out on the front door. And he would just jingle and jingle and jingle. But he said, you know, when you jingle your bells, angels are getting their wings. That's right. Yeah, anytime somebody would come to the door, he'd open the door, grab them off the door, and, Merry Christmas! He loved, <laughs> my dad loved Christmas. My mother was a bah humbugger. Oh, she was. And my daughter and son, as they've gotten a little older, got a little humbug. Bah humbug in them. No, we just think our mother gets carried away, so we let her do it all. Is my tree not gorgeous? It's one of 50. I love trees, and I have new ones this It year. takes us two months to put it up. By the time I get to my house, I don't want to do it anymore. Ho, 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 you're getting your tinsel in a tangle. Bah humbug. <laughs> Grandma would open the door at Christmas time, and she'd go, Ah, bah humbug. 
Right. She had a bah humbug apron. She, my mother would never put a toilet seat cover on a toilet. But at Christmas, you would walk into the bathroom. There'd be a rug, towels, toilet seat cover. All bah humbug. All bah, every towel in the house, from the kitchen to the bathroom, bah humbug. Pillow covers, bah humbug. She had it everywhere. And yet my mother always had the biggest Christmas party in town. And she always enjoyed herself. Always did. She had a boat parade party in Florida. We don't have a Christmas parade like you do with Macy's. They have boat parade parties. So everybody decorates their boats and then everybody along the canal. My parents lived on the intercoastal. You would watch the boat parade party go by. And yeah, that's fun. That's fun. We've been that's part fun. of the boat parade mm -hmm. party since you were a little girl. Mm -hmm. And they still remember the one boat and they still do it. They do it every year. The one boat, oh, it's a big a big sailing boat, I mm -hmm. believe, and they have men dress up as the tin soldiers, and they have a cannon on it, and the, so they they're marching and doing Christmas little, music. Little Christmas music, and the whole the mast, the whole ship is just filled with Christmas lights, and then at one point they'll shoot off the cannon, and then all the soldiers will go dunk, 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 and they'll fall down like they've been shot dead. Since I was little, little, they've been doing this, and it's still in the Fort Lauderdale boat. And it comes, and they come to Boca, and they do the Boynton Beach one mm -hmm. too. They do. They just go to all the boat parade parties, but it is the bestest time. And I think what the two of us are talking about is Christmas is about memories. Memories. And I hope you all have good memories. My mother did not have good memories about Christmas. She had actually no memories about Christmas. Mm -hmm. She never had Christmas. And that's why I think Christmas is so important in our family. It is baby Jesus' birthday, and I think it needs celebrating. And we do our best to celebrate. Yes, we do. But try not to stress out, yeah. really. You know, if you go to a party and you don't bring the best hostess gift in the world, you know what? You've put your heart into it, and... You, it's what the thought counts. So and don't stress about what you're going to wear. Just put on your Quacker Factory T-shirt. You go. and You're going to look the best. There you go. It, yeah. it can you can make it happen without it being hard. Maybe you can't find the biggest toy that your child has on his list. Maybe it's sold out. I was very creative at gift certificates. Yes. Still I, to this day. To this day, I <laughs> gift wrap them. I make them look really impressive. And when they open it, is a gift. And if you lose your gift certificate, you don't get you don't the present. Get it, yes. But so then a month from now, when the gift is out, they get it. At mm -hmm. least they know they're getting it. Mm -hmm. But to stress, not worth it. No, I love the gift certificates. Sometimes it was a card. Sometimes it was a box wrapped, and you mm -hmm. open it up and mm -hmm. it says, "This entitles you to one." Rock'em Suck'em Robot, or whatever uh -huh. it was. As I got older, you know, this entitles you to get your ears pierced, that kind of a thing. So it's true. That's an excellent way to not have to stress out. If you can't get it right then, it'll come along. I'm later. not a big giver of gift certificates to stores because I always find I never use them. Mm -hmm. But a gift certificate that you present to me, it gets bought. Okay, let's talk about December. First off, we have some fun things coming in in December. We're going to, we have the whole uh, two hours of the morning show on December 10th, I think. <laughs> Look at this again. <laughs> December 10th. We are the Friday morning whole two hour show. All except for Judith Ripka. We've invited her to come and we're having a cookie exchange. And we're going to do really fun cookies. See the little reindeer here? We have made him, and he's part of it. These little cookies here we've made. We're going to be doing some great cookie recipes. We're going to sell a few Quacker Factory shirts. <laughs> we're just going to have fun. We're also going to be on on the 3rd of December. Those are our only two times for December. And then we're not on until the end of January. Mm -hmm. So it's a long so time. So I'm getting, tune in. I'm getting a vacation. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Yay. Yes. But... With just December, watch for us on QVC. It's fun. I hope you see my shirt. I'm wearing mm -hmm. the Today Special Value. And I have all the stockings hung by the fireplace. And I'm going to tell you guys. I was doing my best Carol Merrill. You did. The Today Special Value was very successful for us. But they always buy more than you really sell, even mm -hmm. when they say sold out. I can't tell you how many of you have gone to the website and bought more after you received the ones you have. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's very exciting to yeah. see that you liked what you got and you went and bought more. Thank you. I think Lee and I would like to say thank you. You have made our year very special. We couldn't ask for better friends than all the quackers that we have out there. It's true. It's absolutely true. And we wouldn't be sitting in front of a Christmas tree without you. We'd be sitting <laughs> under a bridge <laughs> with a twig. <laughs> but I'd have it decorated. Let yes, me you would. <laughs> yes, you. Tin cans. And, yeah. <laughs> but you've made our life very special. And thank you all thank very you. much. And Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas. I hope Santa comes down your chimney with lots of gift certificates. Go check out the uh, cruise website. Oh, oh, I forgot <laughs> to tell you. This is why you make the big bucks. See? Huh? David said that if you want to go on the cruise and you can't quite figure it out, ask for it for Christmas. Hop on Santa's lap <laughs> and say you want the cruise for Christmas. And if your husband or your boyfriend or your kids do that for you, he will send you a package for them to pit, send them so, a package to put under the Christmas tree. So they have something to open So up. you'll have something to open on Christmas Day. I thought that was a great suggestion. I think that's a really fun idea. Right. Yep. Now can I say goodbye? Well, d do we know what the website is? Because I can never remember it. Quackercruise.com. Go Thank check you, it Paige. out. Thank you, Paige. Paige is... is we have a prompter, prompter. over here. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, go check that out because I we're think going it's on the Oasis, the, of, Oasis the sea, of the Sea a year from now, and Lee and Barbara are going next week to next check week. it out. Yes. they're going to have everything scoped out for us. We're going to find all the fun spots on the ship for you. So it is seven days of fun-filled quacking. Quack, quack. Anything else I forgot? No, I think we're I got to make notes. We're, I think we're good. But if you look over my shoulder. I just got a Christmas present today. I opened it up, and it's from oh, Susan Maryland. that I talk about all the time. And Susan is wishing all of us a joyful Christmas. Mm -hmm.